Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you are doing good and today in this video i'm going to show you a full review of miui pro 10 and which is the latest version of miui pro for our redmi 5 and this rom is very lagless and there is no any single issue or bug everything is working fine the performance of this rom is also pretty good and uh, let's see its miui version here you can check the miui pro updater and uh, uh, now check the MIUI version in all specification here you can check the MIUI version is MIUI Pro 10 9.1.24 and it is based on the Android Pi 8.1.0 and its security patch is one uh, first January 2019 and uh, this ROM is pretty stable and working fine so without wasting any time let's get started I am really excited to review this ROM because this ROM is pretty stable and there is no any single issue or bug everything is working fine and this ROM works really smoothly as you can see here the full screen gestures are also working and everything is working fine and in the home screen we have the default launcher uh, by Xiaomi with some minimum settings and customizations and the app opening speed of this home is also pretty good and the camera is also working pretty good and portrait mode of this camera is not working i don't know why and uh, after it the app opening speed and the gaming performance is also pretty good as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly and uh, there is no any issue while opening the apps and uh, the animations are also looks pretty good as you can see here it is opening the apps fast and the overall performance of this rom is also really impressive and uh, pretty good now let's talk about the gaming performance of this rom after installing any game it will automatically enable the game speed booster and by just open any game let's uh, try the pubg mobile now as you can see here the game has been started and uh, the pubg performance is also pretty good on the default settings and there is no any lag in this rom uh, a play, while playing the games and in the, uh, uh, the the battery the brightness bar looks awkward in the landscape mode i don't know why so the gaming performance is also good as you can see here the pubg is working fine without any lag and issue and uh, after it you can play any game like asphalt 8 or 9 on this room and in the quick settings we have some customization you can edit uh, them by clicking on the edit button and uh, as you can see here we have some settings like brightness lock screen shortcut bluetooth auto brightness all the basic shortcuts are over here available now let's move into the settings in the setting first of all we have the my device in the my device first of all we have the miui version which is the miui pro updater every time you enter uh, the miui updater just click on the it will ask for automatically updates just click on no and here you can check the miui pro 10 9.1.24 weekly and this is the weekly rom so after it in the all specification you can check your all specification first of all you can check your model number device name and the miui version which is miui pro 10 and it is based on android oreo 8.1.0 and its security patch is first january 2019 you can install custom kernels on this rom and uh, the overall performance is pretty good as i said you know, everything is working fine and uh, after it we have the sim card and mobile network WLAN, Bluetooth, Portable, Hotspot and uh, in the SIM card VPN, Hotspot, Usage and in the more we have the Bluetooth, Threatening, ETC 
in the display we have the brightness level at the top after it we have the reading mode which is working fine as you can see here which is also known as blue light filter you can also schedule the blue light filter uh, after it we have the contrast and colors from here you can change the color of the screen you can set it to warm standard or cool after it you can also change the contrast of your screen automatic contrast increased contrast or standard automatic is best so after it you can change the size of uh, change the style of menu uh, fonts and uh, you can also change the sizes of fonts like we have the extra small small medium large and uh, extra large etc and in the list animations you can change the animation of list view from these available settings options you can also change the list interpolation and after it we have the rounded mode rounded corners you can enable or disable the rounded corners in the display section and uh, full screen mode is also available immersive of immersive you can own this and uh, it will hide the status bar and navigation bar if you are using uh, the three buttons on navigation bar after it we have the turn on screen when charging double tap to wake photo screen and uh, in the personal settings we have some settings uh, like low level critical level battery settings and low battery warning after it you can change the wallpaper in the installed wallpaper we have wallpapers from the MIUI and MIUI Pro we also have the live wallpapers and uh, in the themes we have the uh, pre-installed themes like uh, round uh, default rounded illusion limitless hexagon business square freeze and rounded you can choose uh, you can choose any theme from them these themes will change your complete ui and you can also install any uh, custom theme from the theme store after it we have the sound and vibration the sound quality of this room is pretty good and we have all basic settings and uh, in this room some sound setting and some vibration settings and the lock screen is also security is also good the fingerprint is also working the face unlock is also working let's check it out and uh, it is unlocking the device I don't know why it is not working because the light is not coming on my face. Now let's try again, and uh, as you can see here, it is working fine. And the fingerprint is also working fine. You can also add face unlock, and uh, here we have some uh, shortcuts like launch camera and uh, advanced setting will on the notification notification on the lock screen and this type of settings after it we have the notification and battery bar here we have the net notification folder you can enable or disable it if you want it and after it we have the app notifications and uh, icons in status bar like you can change the icon arrangement to default or iOS you can also choose the iOS if you like iPhone not uh, iPhone icon arrangement on the status bar I am using the OSIP and here we have the hexagon style and you can hide the alarm button sound icon or uh, headset icon on the status bar after it we have the show notification count colored notification icon and uh, some battery indicator settings and uh, notification style you can change it to MIUI or Android after it we have the home screen and recent here we have some launcher settings like uh, default launcher app provider and uh, this type of settings and here we have some uh, desktop settings uh, like double tap to 
turn off the screen and swipe up for search bar on this tab of settings and uh, full screen cache you can also uh, check the full screen cache which is which are working fine as you can see here you can also enable the navigation bar after it we have the setting space and uh, after it we have the battery and performance the battery performance of this home is pretty good and uh, here you can manage its battery usage you can check the battery uh, power usage on the power usage and you can choose apps and uh, you can change the power settings balanced or performance after it we have the uh, storage emergency sos and in the additional settings we have the date and time and privacy and 100 mode uh, some basic system settings in the account we have the me sound cynic and uh, system app settings after it we have the manage apps button oh sorry settings and uh, dual apps and at the end we have the app lock and permissions in the permission you can uh, manage your permissions and in the app lock you can uh, lock any application and uh, this ROM is pretty stable and recommended for daily user and if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi 5 just download the ROM from the link, link description uh, after downloading the ROM from the link in the description reboot your device into an installed custom recovery the preferred recovery is TWRP recovery latest uh, which is easy to use after rebooting your device into recovery go to wipe wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card now go to install and flash the downloaded from it will take 15 to 20 minutes on first boot so after it completing the installation click on reboot and you will be in this room so if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace